Welcome to Aspiring Hollywood. I'm Luciano Sabre, and today we're bringing to you another exciting episode with a very famous film director on both sides of the ocean, uh, the Far East and, and also here in the United States. His name is Young Man King, and we're proud to have him on Aspiring Hollywood. Young, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Lou Channel Saber. <laughs> you have a great show anyway. I well, love that show. Well, thank you. I'm going to ask you for a plug later on. So All right. I'm told that I need to get, uh, to get more guests to, to give us plugs on Aspiring Hollywood. But anyway, I want to talk to you about your film career. You started out how many years ago? 10? Ten, ten? Uh, it's like almost 12 years ago. Right. So you went from a film uh, that cost $980 to now producing 4D technology, oh, yeah. right? Okay, so now everybody heard about 3D, but what is 4D? Can you explain that? Um, like 4D is like uh, the 3D visual plus the phys physical, physical effect. For example, like a sense, also uh, uh, some kind of like um, water effect, also the rain, also wind, also smell. Okay. Let's say, uh, so, so, so let's, let's mm -hmm. explain this a little bit further for, for our audience members. Mm -hmm. So what Young is talking about is um, that you're sitting in a movie theater and for example, you're watching a, uh, an earthquake movie and the, when, when the earthquake takes place, the chairs start moving, right? Or if there's, mm -hmm. if there's a scene where it's raining, there's mist coming into the movie theater and gets actually physically gets you wet, right? Is that exactly, yeah. it's like a new technology, like a synchronization with the film, exactly, the film storyline and then have to, uh, the, the engineer has to uh, programming with the chair and all kind of, you know, 4D effect. Right. That way uh, enhance the cinematic experience for the audience. Yeah. Now let's say that you're cooking in a scene, you're cooking kimchi. <laughs> can you smell it? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you can, you can do smell it. But, you know, I think the one of the film, like, they try the smell. I oh, think really? Spike Kid. Spy Kid, they the, uh, the 4D effect, only smell. Okay. They take it out the number, whenever number show up, then they smell it at the wow. same time with the storyline. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's incredible. And tell, mm -hmm. talk to us about the 4D mm -hmm. project that you worked on in Korea. So uh, um, I worked on um, 4D, uh, the Hyundai car commercial for the, uh, the theatrical commercial. So the thing is like the car is the driving. So uh, the first, uh, the idea came up, uh, like the audience was like sitting down in the chair, that means like they're driving. I see. That was like a start the idea, and uh, uh, when they drive, they like swerve, and uh, also uh, when they uh, turn on engine, like the vibration, the chair moving, also beautiful woman comes in, at the same time the smell. Ah, also, okay. the uh, perfume. When, the yeah, perfume, exactly, right? perfume smell. Right. Also uh, the run, the car, and the, when they open, the uh, sunroof and uh -huh. the wind comes in. Th th oh. Those kind of effect. Very, very nice. Now, help me understand this. In Korea, so you said that you worked on a commercial essentially, right? This was a commercial for Hyundai, right? Yeah. Uh, and they're opening commercials in movie theaters in Korea? Oh, not a lot. Uh, this is actually first time okay. like uh, commercial showing at the movie theater, especially 4D movie theater. I see, because of the technology they got people in and, and there were people waiting outside in line to get in to experience this technology, is that? Yeah, is that? yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, the first film, uh, 4D uh, feature length film, uh, is to produce 4D effect, very expensive. That's why they do uh, short films in the theme park and uh, museum stuff. But now uh, in South Korea, they produce uh, the 4D films. Uh, so like in the 4D theater, they have uh, several 4D theaters. Right. So, uh, um, the first uh, 4D movie was uh, the Avatar in Korea, 2009. Mm -hmm. Since then, like they make a major studio film. Right. They, uh, you know, like the, put on the 4D effect. So, look, we're talking about technologies that that a lot of members of our audience may not have access to. So, what I want to talk to you about is is the traditional way of, of filmmaking. By traditional way, I mean, you know, shooting, shooting on a digital format versus film format and so forth, right? What is your experience? Do you, do you prefer to shoot on, on uh, film or, or digitally? You know, I love film. I mean, the funny thing is like, uh, I know one of my friends uh, owns a movie theater. They have a still single theater and uh, using 
35 film old projector. Right. I love the flicker, you know, like yeah. flickering also grain, the depth of view. There's something mystical about that. Oh yeah, it? yeah, artistic. But I mean, but if I'm shooting 35 film and uh, after process, also editing, the later put on, you know, it's too much. It takes time, also money, you know, complicated. Yeah. So prepare like a lot of digital is you right. know, easier. Yeah. But digital these mm -hmm. days, I mean, you can even go to the consumer or prosumer cameras and right. you still get a beautiful picture yeah. with, with, the, with the cameras today, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, of course. So what advice would you give a young director, you know, um, starting out? What's, what's the, the most important thing, in your opinion, about directing? I think like the three things, right? In, I think in the book, uh, The Secret, I think they, they say like first the thinking, Second one, talking, and the last one is like action. Okay. So a lot of people like think, right, how to make a film, and then they talk. But a lot of people stop there, you know, just <laughs> the talking and never do action, you know. Right. So uh, you gotta do, you know, act. You right. know what I mean? You gotta make. And, and, and ironically enough, folks, I mean, those are the three basic elements of, mm -hmm. of filmmaking. It's thinking about your story because the story is the most important thing, right? Right. And then talking, meaning the sound, and, and, and the image, you know, taking action and, and showing the image. I mean, those are the three most important elements, right? Yeah. Screenplay, mm -hmm. audio, and, and your image. Right, exactly. Your lights. Right, and then to make a film, actually, you need the money. Yeah. I mean, you can do it for fun, yeah. you know, with your friends, whatever, but those one is not good for, you know, commercially or build up, you know, credit anything. So, I think first time, you know, really tough to get the financed. Right. Especially like if you plan to big budget. So uh, I try to like give a suggestion for, uh, you know, aspiring filmmakers. Right. Do the small project and approach like organization, also non-profit, maybe some school or church, anything like they right. need a video these days. You sure. know what I mean? They want to product, like promote. Right. For example, maybe a restaurant, whatever then. Just right. like a go there, you know, the ask, you know. And talk about, you, you brought some clips today, so talk about those clips. Uh, the one animation and there was a 4D clip, also uh, the humanitarian documentary project, right. the Haitian street kid. Right. So let's say uh, Haitian street kid was something different, right. like, you know. But, but that, that really was a labor of love, right? I mean, the, the, mm -hmm. I mean it, you put a lot of work and, and time into that. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's feel good. It feel yeah. better, you know, trying to help something to other people. Right. You know, at the same time also, I learned something, you know. Like, sure. give, and, give and take, you know. I, right. mean, I mean, there is no reward, but you learn something. You know what I mean? Sure. Like spiritual role, you know, each other, you know. That's sure. why I like the project. It's, you know? look, I mean, it's a journey. Filmmaking is just like life itself, right? You just exactly. go on this journey and, yeah. and, and you hit some bumps and, and some mm -hmm. highs and some lows, right? Yeah. But, but Okay, so tell me about your next project. What's, what's going on? I have a you know, couple of projects, like directing job offers, so mm -hmm. just, you know, and the preparing. Right. Probably one of them, you know, 3D, okay. stereoscopic. And, and you project. work on both sides of the world. You work in Korea and you work in the U.S. as well. Yeah, also, uh, like, I went to India to, uh, you know, direct animation. Okay. And then also, uh, you know, I uh, went to Haiti constantly to finish the... Uh, the documentary for feature lengths. It's so you are a true years. international mm -hmm. film director. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can really say that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Young, do you have any advice, any last parting words for, for the audience members? Um, just to watch, you know, aspiring, you know, this Hollywood video show, then you will get a lot of inspire. I think <laughs> inspire is very important, you know. Right. I mean, when you uh, got inspired, filmmakers and then you got a lot of information also the like as a filmmaker doing the interview also give you inspiration that also at the same time learning you know together like give and take aspiration inspiration and perspiration <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very good young well thank you so much for joining us today on uh, aspiring hollywood and thank you guys for watching please visit us at aspiringhollywood.com also check out our, our uh, youtube channel and all the other social uh, media sites that we may be on. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, I'm Luciano Saber. <laughs>